Cauliflower Kitchen, and we are so excited again because we are still on location in Nashville. Yay. Not that I can sing, but I've got someone absolutely wonderful with us today. I've got Lena Stone, singer and songwriter, right here in the house. Yay! Hey. She's with me again with Rachel. And Hi Rachel, what you? Yeah, I'm super excited you're here. I was just listening to your song. You have like an angelic voice. Hello. Thank you. So if you guys want to hear her sing, you gotta go check that out. We'll give you more information on that. But make sure before you do anything else, subscribe to this channel because we drop amazing new episodes right. once a week. And you're gonna want YouTube to notify you when that happens because you don't wanna be like a miss or outer. Yeah, duh. Right? All your friends are talking about it and you're like, what? <laughs> like, because you didn't subscribe, so do it. So when we knew we were coming to Nashville, I was like, okay, we have to get someone who sings if we're going to Nashville. And I'm so glad that we were able to connect with you. Me too. Because, well, one, you've got a new single that just dropped, right? I do. It's called Can't Think Straight. <gasps> a lot of times I can't think straight, but I'm excited <laughs> to hear it. I, I honestly could say I haven't, but um, just taking a look at you and meeting you, I know I'm going to love it. So Thank you. It's a beautiful voice. That now, awesome. something else that I'm really glad you're here is you're actually a celiac. I am. So can you explain to our listeners if they are our listeners, our watchers as well. Our family. They, yeah. Our Kelly Power family, they don't yeah. know what celiac is. Yeah, so celiac is an autoimmune disease, um, and basically it just means that you're gluten intolerant, you can't eat anything with gluten in it, and so that counts out all regular pizza and all, oh, yeah. all that good stuff. Yeah. Which can be really sad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, life without pizza just is not <laughs> it's very sad. I mean, oh my gosh. So have you had a hard time finding products that fit within your diet? Yes, I definitely have. Okay. You know, the, um, the owner of our company, Amy Lacey, and a lot of people know this story, yeah. she actually found out she had lupus, which is an autoimmune disease. Yeah. And it birthed the creation of cauliflower right. food. So That's right. amazing. Some amazing yeah. things can come happen out of autoimmune right. diseases. Exactly. Right. So what are we going to make in today's stuff? Oh, I'm really excited because talking to Lena, I have learned that, you know, what, you haven't had quiche or made quiche yourself because of the issue of the gluten. Yeah. So the beautiful thing about our cauliflower crust, again, all of them are gluten-free, made with fresh cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, eggs, and seasoning. Today we're going to be using our Cali Italian. So that's going to have cauliflower, mozzarella cheese, eggs, and then yeah, a little bit of basil and garlic. You know, 180 calories for this crust. So you're going to be ready for when spring launches. You're like, check it out. Come to my house for brunch because I'm making quiche. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to wash my hands. A quiche that anybody can eat. Yeah. So. And it's not complicated at all. So this is what the crust looked like. We have two per package. We're actually going to use two for this, right? Yeah. For the yeah. quiche recipe. Yeah. You could use one and it would be fine. You could stick it in the base of your pie pan. But um, for that feeling of having the crust all the way around the edges, we're gonna go ahead and cut another one to fit into the pan. So we're gonna take our crust, and what I like, um, you can always use our crust straight from the freezer to the um, oven, so um, you don't have to defrost it. But for this, I went ahead and you know took them out and let them come to room temperature because then it's easier to kind of snip them. Yeah. So let's let I'm gonna Lena, have let's let Lena I'm gonna have control. you go ahead okay. and put it in the base there. All right, down here at the bottom. Yeah, just at the bottom. Okay. Okay. And then kind of taking a look at, you know, the size of our pan. It's about that big. So I'm going to cut some strips. And you're just going to line the sides of your quiche pan Perfect. with the strips of the crust. So if you want to take those and start just started laying like them around. Yeah. And they don't have to look perfectly pretty no. because they're going to be covered in egg. Yeah. The beautiful thing about the egg product and all go. the beautiful stuff that you stick in with your quiche um, is going to fix any holes and hold it together. So yeah, just line it all up. Got How's one. that looking? Yeah, it looks, it looks Beautiful. perfect. So again, stick another one on perfect. the side there. Okay, awesome. So if you're, you know, type A, you can snip it, but heck, <laughs> not me. I mean, I'm gonna throw it in there and it's gonna be good to go. So we're gonna have our crust now go into the oven at 375. I'm gonna pre-cook it and kind of crisp it up to set it up. And then we're gonna come back and add some um, our toppings and filling. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that in the oven. Yeah, here we go. And here we go. All right. Our crust is fantastic. It's coming out of the oven, nice and hot. It's all set up. So we're gonna go ahead and set that aside. In the meantime, we're gonna get our egg mixture ready. Okay, I've already started it out. So I've got four Passing eggs. the baton <laughs> over to me now. I'm just gonna have her crack the eggs. So we're gonna add four more eggs. So okay. oh. I've kind of come up with about, about an egg, um, eight egg total in this particular uh, quiche. So go ahead and crack in okay. four more eggs. Where am I putting my... You're going to uh, put, put them all in here? My, no, where I put Oh, your shells. shells. Oh, good. Oh, it's I'm, good. Here, I'll, I'll <laughs> so hold your shells. I've got this. I'm like, uh, I'm doing it right there. 
There's the job for me. I feel so put in the compost right bed. When I'm we're holding done. Lena's Perfect. Eggs. How embarrassing is it going to be if I drop some of the shell into there and we have to go fishing it out? Yeah. <laughs> That's it's a okay. high pressure egg cracking That's situation. That's okay. But in the meantime, I'll tell everyone at home I took the liberty of taking some sliced mushrooms, um, some white onion, and red bell pepper, kind of sauteed those together, Perfect. about a half Very a teaspoon of olive oil, kind of reduced them down so we have those there. So I'm turn around and kind of wash your hands off there. Yep. And then um, I roasted some stalks of asparagus and then took some spinach and reduced that down. So what I was telling everybody is that we've taken the spinach and kind of taken it from a bag, put it in a bowl, thrown it in the microwave because you want to take all that extra moisture out. What you know, a lot of people complain about with like a quiche, it's like, oh my God, it's wobbly. It's taking forever to kind of reduce because it's all that excess moisture, especially when you're cooking with vegetables. So. What I do is pop it in there for about a minute, kind of chop it up, and then it looks like this. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. All right. You ready? Now what am I doing? All right. So am now whisking? you're gonna whisk those bad boys. All right. Whisk, whisk, whisk. Now, Lena, are, are you from Nashville? I'm not originally. Originally, I'm from a, a little town outside of Boston called Concord, Massachusetts. Oh, oh my gosh! I dated a guy in Bedford. No, <laughs> I did. That's right next door. I did. <laughs> Sorry. The things we learn on what's cooking with that's cauliflower. That's where the Whole Foods is. Oh my gosh, that's, that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, it's been a long time, but yeah, <laughs> it's a beautiful area. It is a beautiful area. A lot of history. Yeah. Thoreau, and I was into poetry, and the Alcott I mean, house and stuff. You'd be using more force on these eggs. <laughs> well, now I'm glad you're in Nashville, because we have the opportunity to be here with you today, but also I think that's where you go, right, when you want to be a musician. Yeah. Now, have you always wanted to sing country music? Yeah, I have. I uh, I grew I'm gonna up. In, I'm gonna throw in a little bit of half and half, about Perfect. a quarter of a cup. I grew up um, listening to like singer songwriters like Joni Mitchell and James Taylor and stuff like that, nice. and so that's where I got the songwriting part from. And Nashville's just like the place for songwriters. That's amazing. And storytelling. So right. that's Great. how we ended up here. Yay. That looks amazing. I'm gonna put that over here and bring our warmed crust. And so what I'm gonna have you do now? Throw a little bit of cheese in the base. Okay. Yeah, you know, it doesn't have to be a ton. Just kind of. Put a little there, so we'll put a little in the base, and then add um, some to finish it off. I'm a cheese lover. For so more than that, 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 yeah, that's, that's good. That's you know, I bought and then mushrooms and onions. I, to, I always use my hand. Sorry, I'm, no, one, of those, I'm one of those cooks, and I forgot <laughs> to put the spoon out. So yeah, you know, again, it's whatever you feel that you know you want to put in there. I like this a lot of veggies. This looks so good. Mm -hmm. It just you know springtime light. Um, you could also put bacon and cheese. You know, you did one just recently for what is it? Your daughter's birthday. Oh, my daughter's eleventh birthday. We had oh, a birthday yeah. brunch That's and did a, a bacon, okay. bacon cheese. And then it was we'll save your spoon, and then go ahead and throw some asparagus. All right. Yeah. Again, this is a vehicle for anything you want to do. I mean, vegetables, meats. Um, you can make like a Mexican one with well, it's, chilies. It's and, so and similar to our perfect. pizza crust. I mean, you can and top our pizza spinach. crust with anything. Oh, you can fill your quiche with anything as well. Yeah, just kind of move that around. The great thing is, it doesn't have to be specifically somewhere because the egg's going to get in there and kind of move it and settle it all together. Perfect. So it's looking beautiful. There we go. All right, so then you're going to go ahead and throw your egg mixture, uh, mixture on top. There you go. Thank you. Uh -huh. Okay. What I love about quiches is it's like this one meal that you can serve everybody rather than yep. trying to... The thing I love about scrambled eggs and bacon and all that kind Perfect. of stuff is it tastes amazing but you're also like scrambling to try to keep everything warm for your guests especially if you're hosting a brunch lovely there we go this okay is done and then you know top it off with a little bit more cheese just Perfect. like that and we're gonna throw this guy back in the oven at 350 and just let it bake and you're gonna eyeball it until it sets up in the center you can take a knife and then it'll be firm so probably about 20 30 minutes for the egg to set up perfect lena you want to do the honors i would love to all right All right, so we've been waiting, waiting patiently, listening to Lena sing for like the last 30 minutes. It's been like our own personal serenade, but it's time yeah. to get out our quiche. Yep, yep. It's not wiggling, it's not jiggling, it's set up, so I think we're good to go. Oh my goodness, you guys uh -huh. are gonna die when you do this. Uh, it looks so good. Don't break anything, Rachel. Awesome. Look at that. Oh, heck yes. Looks amazing. Awesome. Okay, so it, it looks beautiful, it's perfect, but again, <laughs> we can always add a little bit more. So I like to take a little bit of grated parm and kind of sprinkle it on top. Oh yeah. Because it just finishes it up. I mean, it just gives that little pop, a little contrast. And who doesn't like Parmesan? I don't know. Everyone likes Parmesan. Exactly. All right. Awesome. So I'm going to get to work on, let me see, can okay. I have your pot holders so I can hold yeah, the side? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So while you're cutting that, I want to know more about 
this new music video that you have yes. coming out for the song Can't Think Straight. That's right. I got That's it right. right. Um, it just came out. I'm so excited. Um, it was really fun. We shot it. We got all the players who played on the original recording, and we went to the studio and recorded a live version. Um, and so we brought in a whole camera crew to film us while we recorded it. Um, and so what's cool about the video is that it's all set to that li like. It is it's live. live music. Okay, was that uh -huh. nerve wracking for you? Or is Definitely. It, okay. <laughs> I was like, you have to look cute and you have to sound good That's all the time. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> but it came out great. I'm so proud of it. I can't wait to see it. So it's yeah. live right now. It's live right now on my YouTube page and on all my social media accounts. And you should look up Lena Stone. Yes, Lena Stone Music. Lena Stone Music. Yeah. You can check out Can't Think Straight. Yes. And people can purchase this yet? Yep. People okay. can listen to the song. They can stream it on Spotify and Apple Music and all those great places. And now the video is on YouTube. Okay. So take a second, as soon as you're done watching this and you subscribe to this channel, of course, go check out Lena Stone. Listen to her YouTube. You have an angelic voice. And, and you're gorgeous. So, I mean, she's like, it's a star. She's and a I'm star. about to eat quiche. And, and she's about to eat a, oh my goodness, look at that. Right. This is so, All right. looks so good. Okay. So again. I'll let you take it first. What? No, I'm not going to. No, I'm like, what? I, I got to watch it. Right. All right. Yeah, come on. Right. Tell me what it's like. I mean, especially, you know, it's been a while. Now you get to enjoy it. Okay, now I got to bite. That's so good. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's amazing. All right. Oh my gosh. You've made cauliflower pizza crust from scratch before, which a lot of us have done. Yes. And how did that work out for you? It was a train wreck. Mm. Um, <laughs> I didn't. I didn't wring out the cauliflower. Um, it's enough. hard. It's and hard so to it got really soggy, and it takes so long. Yeah, um, it, it is definitely a labor of love. I mean, it, it is. is a process. So I made one and it was really bad and really soggy. Uh -huh. Didn't even like try to put pizza on it. Like it was just so bad it wasn't worth trying to rescue. Right. Then I made another one it was okay, but it did not taste like this. And, this, oh and you know, it, it tastes good as a quiche, but it also tastes good just by itself. If yeah. you want to cut it up yeah. into like little crackers. Yeah. So you're going to have to have, you know, a little maybe um, music video release party. Um, out right, right. right, and then for your family, like you were saying, your whole family's yeah. affected by the celiac. So yeah. I mean, this is gonna be something that's gonna bring you guys all together. Oh, they're gonna love it. Yes, I love it. Yeah, yeah they're gonna be it. so excited. Lena, we're so happy to have you on. What's cooking with Holly So much so fun for to having you. me. This has been a blast, and I'm gonna finish this. <laughs> Amen to that. Now make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you go check, check out, out Lena Stone. Absolutely. Oh I mean, with a name like Lena Stone, oh my gosh, I'm all over it. I love that. All right. So again, we're checking out here in Nashville, all the fun and amazing people. And we hope that you, you know, continue to love our product and we'll see you next time. Bye.